Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, I have GIA in the Philippines here again in my channel. Because today we are going to talk about failed relationship with foreigner and Filipina. So this is based also on the comments in the comment section down below. Thank you so much guys for commenting and emailing me with your dilemmas so that I could have <laughs> something to talk to in oh. my China. Okay. We're going to talk about this failed relationship. Uh, I will tell the story. So not, not this failed relationship. <laughs> this is not a failed relationship. <laughs> this is a progressing, striving relationship. Yes. <laughs> Char, I'm going to tell you the story first before we discuss mm -hmm. what is going on in this situation. So the story is there's this guy, mm -hmm. foreigner guy, American. First he met a, a Filipina online during pandemic mm -hmm. and they develop feelings with each other mm -hmm. and then they get married online without meeting each other. Yes. It was a long story but I'll summarize it. And then the relationship didn't work. He came over here and realized it's not the one. It's not working. After two weeks. He got divor divorced yep. with the first one. Went back to the U.S. Went back got to the U.S. and divorced the Filipina. Mm -hmm. And he met a Filipina again. This time, they met pers in person. They have lived together, live in together. Mm -hmm. But the relationship is very toxic. They always fight. They always have arguments, everyday fight, everyday tampo. And the mm -hmm. Filipina has uh, a baby. He, she's a single mom. And the guy is also a, a father. So they decided to combine the family. So they brought all the kids together in mm -hmm. the same house because they thought that it would help strengthen the relationship. Right. Now being in a family unit setting. But of course, once the toxic is always a toxic, it won't work. So, because they are fighting a lot, the kids are getting involved with the fight. So, the guy decided to move everyone in the US because maybe that could help, right? Maybe it will strengthen the relationship with the Filipina. On a so, fiance visa. Yes, yeah, so the US, yeah. he moved the Filipina in the US. But of course, that didn't fix the relationship. <laughs> Before they get married, they already they were fighting a lot. And planning on separating, I guess. Yeah, yes, but. separating, breaking up, and separating. And then a week later, they got married. And then, Bye. of course, it's not gonna get better. It's just gonna get worse. Mm -hmm. Even if you get married, to think that this marriage will fix the relationship, it won't. No. So, it ended up threatening of divorce and living. The, the Filipina is planning to move out and work on her own and live yeah. by herself with her son. And then something else happened. <laughs> what else happened? Then she got pregnant with him. And then she got <laughs> pregnant. Yes. So... You tell me. You guys tell me if she's, if he is doing it right or wrong. <laughs> the only thing lesson that I could think of is, is once a toxic, always a toxic. Mm -hmm. You will never fix the relationship. Even if you bring a lot of things in the table. Even if right. you bring the kids together or bring them to the U.S. To think, thinking that they will change. Mm -hmm. Thinking that the these changes will change the relationship for the better but it won't because there's already scarring you know there's already mm -hmm. too much um, words that have been said so every time you had a fight mm -hmm. it will always come back they will always bring it up moving in together won't fix the problem uh, getting engaged doesn't fix it getting married and having a kid yeah. together certainly doesn't fix any of your problems or make them go away so yeah, and uh, he made basically all those mistakes, all those red flags, and yet he would progress into the next step. Oh, well, maybe if we move in, and things mm -hmm. will get better. Maybe if we get engaged, maybe if we get married, maybe we have a kid, maybe I'll move her to the U.S. Yeah. And now, 
now he's going to be in a really tough spot. Yeah, I mean, you cannot say that you did not think that he, she will leave you mm -hmm. once she's in the U.S. Yeah, I think that was a Yes, I one. think it's, it's in your mind already, but because you love this girl, mm -hmm. but this love will cost you so much pain and so much money. And was it really love or is it just somebody, there's, you have those type of people who just don't like to be alone and so they will endure or they'll put up with much more because they just, uh, they don't like to be alone. Yeah, they... especially if you grew up in an environment where your parents ab like ignore you or abandon you, mm -hmm. you, you tend to like scrape every love that you could get. And also, it's like if you're raised in a family, toxic family mm -hmm. setting where you, yeah. where your parents are always scolding you and like um, hot and cold relationship with your parents where they are angry with you and show love with you again. It's like mm -hmm. your mind is programmed this way that this is, this is love. This is what mm -hmm. love is. I think a lot of foreigners and Filipinas make this mistake too because they, foreigners, they sometimes tend to just the first Filipina they meet they kind of settle down with sometimes and yeah without really kind of searching out the one that fits best connection yeah and Filipinas also maybe sometimes they're like oh well, I got a foreigner you know even though yeah. they're not really a great relationship but they hold on to because they're like oh <laughs> and also sometimes men they tend mm -hmm. to choose the pretty one. They choose like the pretty one, like the sexy and the pre beautiful one without considering the, the attitude towards life. Yes. And the women, especially Filipina, falls into thinking that uh, this guy is a foreigner, so he could provide for me, he could right. be a good uh, partner to me without mm -hmm. considering about also his personality, what is he like right. as a man. So this is a common mistake between foreigner and Filipina. Yes. Choosing. I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, basing everything on what they could get. Yeah. Not on, like, the personality, the character of the person. He feels lucky because he got a pretty Filipina, younger, and so he just. Yes. Holds on to that, yeah. and she is like, "Oh, I got a foreigner." And, yeah. Um, financially secure, you know, and so yes, so they accept probably a lot more than if a Filipino is dating Filipino guys. I don't think they would accept as much. They would probably be more choosy, maybe. Yeah, especially for single moms. Yeah. Most single moms, they <clears throat> believe, they think that they don't have any chance anymore with love mm -hmm. because of the society telling them that they are. Um, not worthy anymore because yeah. they have children. They are damaged goods because of their, mm -hmm. their the experiences that they had with the previous relationships. Right. So they feel like uh, they could just settle for less. Like whatever comes, I will accept it. Mm -hmm. And she's a single mom, so I think uh, the kind of mindset also influences her decisions. Yeah. So now you got two people who are both in a stuck in this uh, bad relationship yeah. and to make it worse um, bringing a child bringing in. another child into it and they both probably want to go their separate ways but so what advice could you give to the foreigners that is looking mm -hmm. or in a relationship with a Filipina what are the things that they should put in their mind so that they won't make the same mistake just goes to slowing down. Don't move in within a few weeks. Don't just uh, get into an instant relationship as soon as you step off the plane. I mean, you really, you may have chatted for six months together, but you really don't know the person until in person. Yes. Getting to know them a little bit, but really the true getting to know somebody is, is done in person. So just slow everything down. Don't rush into anything. Yes. Um, for me, for the Filipinas, mm -hmm. that is choosing to be in a relationship with a foreigner. Don't settle for less. That because they are foreigner doesn't mean that the most important thing is for them to provide for you. 
I know most of the foreigners that comes here, they could provide for you and give you a good life, but it's not just about that. It's about the long term. What if, mm -hmm. yes, he can give you this, everything that you need and want. Will it really last if his personality, if his character is, yeah. is that bad? It's, yeah, if, it's, you're, if you're miserable and not happy, eventually you're, you're not going to care about what he yeah. can give you. Yeah. And same with youth and beauty. Eventually, it will fade. It will fade, and yes. you're with somebody you really have nothing in common with. Because youth and beauty fades, then you end up with someone that has no beauty. No beauty. No, no beauty. No personality. <laughs> nothing in common. So right. your life will be still miserable. So you're lucky if you could find someone beautiful. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> With a personality. Yeah. I think beauty is only a bonus. That's it. Yeah. You'll find out that beauty is definitely more than um, just outer appearance after a while. Yes. After you've been in a relationship for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing about men is they're all about beauty. It's about yes, the but look. A after a while, you do what you're left with is you still a personality and you get along, you have things in common. She's laughing, but it's, it's actually true. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, okay, so that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And let me know your thoughts about this video. What do you think about this situation? Is it love or if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.